Sally, Chief Technical Officer. You just went through a lot of post outage reviews for the season, and you have some insight to share with our customers about outage assessments and improvements. Well, hello everyone, and I'm happy to be here and be here with the one and only Elizabeth LaBelle. Oh, you're too kind. I know you firmly believe that this coming outage seasons could be equally as intense and demanding. So let's jump right in. Yeah, and the, the 2022 uh, spring outage season by most accounts was historic in terms of the demand on labor, supervisory skills, and engineering resources. Uh, therefore, many outages were short staffed or not executed as well as they could have been uh, because of these shortfalls. In addition, turnover at many plant sites have also added to the stress or complexity of planning for and executing major maintenance outages. What would you tell our listeners on planning and scheduling in the realm of well-planned versus poorly planned outages? What is the main difference you saw in this past outage season? I think the number one issue that I saw was a lack of a plan B, uh, a backup plan in case you don't get the people that you uh, are accustomed to working with uh, at your site or on your engines, a plan B in case you find rotor issues, uh, generator or compressor uh, uh, findings, a plan B if regulators don't allow you to start or require you to finish an outage early. Uh, there's a lot of, uh, of uh, things that can go into or require a plan B. Uh, in addition, uh, you know, I saw that doing what we always do or performing can work scopes uh, forced many customers to deal with many surprises. Uh, to perform unnecessary work and not perform work that should be performed also, uh, you know, falls in this, uh, this area. And then finally, lacking a historical narrative. Uh, I worked with clients who claimed they did not know an issue existed uh, when that issue had been discovered previously and it was reported in a borescope or, or outage report. Uh, so reading old outage reports, including operational ones, is critical. Uh, to establishing an accurate outage work scope. Some uh, recommendations I have for better outage planning, and I can elaborate uh, further in the conversation, or start planning right after the current or next outage is completed. Uh, contingency planning for potential big ticket items uh, or scope creep, knowing your engines and knowing your engines well, uh, asking for help and or performing a, a peer, peer review, and then finally, um, just knowing your resources and where uh, alternate resources are available. Leadership is something I've been hearing an awful lot about. Changes, retirements, things, people stepping up. What is your take on outage leadership and importance of having the right knowledge in the right place at the right time? Well, first, before I, uh, I say about the, the importance, so uh, an observation was that not all engineers are created the, you know, the same. There's an ever increasing knowledge and experience gap, uh, particularly in the technical uh, field advisory or TFA space. Um, I've also identified issues with, uh, you know, with supervisors, uh, with the sheer demand on um, or the number of outages that uh, were happening concurrently. Uh, many supervisors were working their tools before uh, they got stepped up. Uh, their first big job may have been your big job, uh, but this deficiency uh, can be overcome with a quality crew and or field engineer who knows how to get the work done safely and correctly. And then finally, another issue I identified was waiting, a leadership issue that I identified was waiting until the last minute. Uh, here I'm talking about service providers changing assignments, or waiting to tell the customer until it's too late for the customer to react by choosing a different contractor. Um, and then uh, other customers may or may not have, uh, you know, started the planning process late and or, you know, had a forced outage or a new discovery that forced them to plan on the fly. Some would say situational awareness is one of the primary reasons outages are um, successful or fail. What do you say? Um, I'm a, uh, a firm believer or prioritize situational awareness in uh, all of my daily activities. Uh, so what I mean here is uh, questions like what may or may not affect my outage performance. 
Uh, I like to look for the little things while not forgetting about the, you know, the big things. Don't focus on one section of the, you know, the turbine uh, and make, uh, you know, grand plans to address those issues until you've uh, been able to survey the entire unit or the entire outage. Uh, look for the little things or how people are moving in and out of the uh, or around the unit. Listen for the little things during toolbox meetings, breaks, or when the, you know, the unit. Listen to your unit itself. Is it making any funny noises? Or ask and ask some more. Uh, another uh, situational awareness, uh, you know, tip or, uh, you know, mindset is uh, base your options on knowledge and history. Uh, the faster that we can process the data that we have, the faster and better our reactions will be. And again, the more we know, the more proactive we can also be. And then finally, and certainly uh, last but not least, know your engines. And by this, I mean really, really know them and as they are right now. Uh, part of knowing real time is knowing what has also uh, happened in the, uh, the past. That may seem highly philosophical, um, but knowing your engines, knowing what happened 10 years ago, what happened uh, yesterday, and their current condition is, uh, is paramount to having a successful outage. That's super important. For those that are new to their roles now, or are putting together an outage plan maybe for the first time and or um, needing a little extra um, direction, what would you say to them? Uh, don't hesitate to, uh, to ask for help. Uh, find somebody to uh, review your plan, whether it's in-house or somebody outside your uh, company uh, that has experience in the uh, the realm that you're 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 in currently. Um, somebody that uh, has man you know experience managing the you know the work scopes and or someone who has been successful at your plant doing similar or identical work in the past. That's all great information to have, and I appreciate you taking the time out and letting some of our customers and viewers hear the inside firsthand knowledge. If you had one last thing to share, what would you say? Uh, to emphasize knowing your engines and don't hesitate to, uh, to ask for help. Uh, when I say this, I see that commercial for uh, mental health uh, assistance where somebody's uh, doing a bench press and can't lift the weight off his chest and is not asking for help. Somebody offers help and they get turned down because um, you know, they're worried about what other people will say or think. Yeah, if you need any assistance or help in this coming outage season, remember TRS is here for you for all of your ups and downs, but most importantly, we're here for you, Greg and myself. Thank you again, Greg, and we look forward to your update on how this fall outage season goes. Thank you, and I look forward uh, as well. And uh, thanks for uh, having me and allowing me to, uh, you know, share some of the uh, the insights that I've gained, uh, you know, participating in and observing uh, this uh, historically busy outage season. Thank you. I appreciate it. You guys, stay tuned. <laughs>